Hello, everybody. I'm Argofunk, and this is Midnight Mysteries Salem Witch Trial. So Midnight Mysteries is a video game series where you're a ghost writer who goes back in time to solve historical mysteries and what? I don't like that. That is... Well, no! She's a witch! Burn her! Wow, okay, so that was creepy and evil and dramatic and totally interrupted my introduction. Okay, <clears throat> I'm a famous ghost writer. And I mean ghost writer literally in the sense that I get visited by ghosts and famous people. Today's ghost is Nathaniel Hawthorne. Finally I found you. In life I was the writer Nathaniel Hawthorne. My ability to speak is limited. <laughs> the puzzle of my death torments me. You're gifted with a connection to the spirit world. Will you take my case? Well, Nathaniel Hawthorne is one of my favorite authors. How could I not help him? Who am I to turn this man down? I'm taking his case. Thank you for taking my case. I need the feel of a pen in my hand. So this is a challenge. What you need to do is find the pen on the screen. The pen is over here. And we have some ink over here. Now we can combine these two items. You put the pen here and the ink here in this special spot on the right. You press the plus button to combine those two items. Hooray. So we give the pen to Nathaniel now. And I think that's it for the tutorial. Now we have a hidden objects challenge. Searching through your surroundings often produces valuable information when your eyes are working with your intellect. We need to find all these items that are listed at the bottom of the screen. For example, we have this newspaper about the previous game in the series. Where I, I saw the mystery uh, about Edgar Allan Poe. So here's a raven. Ravens are special in this game as are clovers. So pretty much every screen of the game has a clover and a raven for you to find. Hmm, here's a location we'll be visiting. A very strange location indeed. Here's the uh, best-selling book based on the previous game. And uh, we can open the door to get the evil black cat. So that evil black cat shows up if you just start clicking randomly in hidden object scenes, just clicking all over the place randomly trying to find things. The black cat will show up and be mean to you, so don't try to cheat by clicking randomly. You want to solve these puzzles legitimately. Here's a teacup, and here's head and shoulders. Oh, I still need to find a coaster. I thought I was all done with the challenge. Okay. The, the coaster of the Hollingworth Inn, and uh, the final clue to this mystery is the Presidential Seal. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. Now we know how to play the game. We, we basically have everything figured out. Let's get started for real. Your observation skills are impressive. Environment's a great storyteller when you're tuned to listening. Why are you chained, Nathaniel? Chains of injustice bind me to the earth. Injustice done by me, and injustice to me. How long can you hang out here with me? I have very limited energy to sustain my form for your eyes. I will be with you in my history and in my literature. Why are you here? Nathaniel, why are you here? Take my hand! Okay, but, but why are you here? Find my grave! Alright, Nathaniel took us uh, back in time to his 
grave, I think. This is a very strange, evil-looking place. We're here in the cemetery. And here, we have a hidden objects challenge. Now I have a secret. I'm really, really terrible when it comes to solving hidden objects challenges. I am no good, so... In the interest of saving time, I'll just skip over the hidden objects challenges in my videos. Because it takes me like five minutes to get through a hidden objects challenge. Mainly because I, I use the hint button over and over and over again to find all these items. Now the hint button fills up very slowly. Very slowly. Very slowly indeed. If you can find ravens then that will refill the hint button for you. Oh, over here we have a shovel. And this is a grave, so the year is 1692. 1692. Hmm, so we have a puzzle over here. Oh, oh, and here's one of those ravens. Yeah, so there are ravens all over the game. Uh, it, oh, there are more ravens, nice. The ravens are hints, which you can use for hidden objects challenges. Very, very nice. That's helpful. Ooh, there's the cannonball. Let's see. The squirrel treat is going to be over here. Yeah, very tiny acorn. As for the clovers, now those are on pretty much every uh, screen of the game as well. If you find them, you unlock unlimited hidden objects mode. I'll show what that looks like as soon as I get this uh, sign. Is that the sign? Yeah. So let's go back to the main menu. Main menu over here. So if you find 50 of the clovers, you unlock unlimited hidden objects mode. Which I will not be doing because, well, quite frankly, I'm not good at hidden objects. So why would I want a mode where I find unlimited hidden objects? That's just kind of silly. As we saw earlier, once you find all the items on a screen, you get to find a bonus item. That's the item which you take, and it's added to your inventory. So the bolt cutters go over here to destroy the bolts. Ah! 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 And this is a puzzle, this is a puzzle. So, what year is it? It's 1692, so 1692, the year of the Salem Witch Trials. The gates are open, and here I am now, standing at the village entrance. The date I found on the gravestone works as the code for the lock. That's tricky. No one gives me a warm welcoming at the gates. That's okay. I can live with that. As far as I can see, the village looks deserted. I hope I'm wrong. I need to find someone who can help me find the grave of Hawthorne. The two buildings in front of me are magnificently constructed in early settler design. The lights are on where I come from. That's an invite to drop in on the neighbors. But that creepy statue really bothers me. I do not like that creepy statue. It is creeping me out. I am not liking it in the slightest. And uh, the founder of Salem, Roger Conant. Okay. Ooh, this is the Salem Village Courthouse. Sheriff Jonathan Corwin. It's currently locked right now, I think. What? What? Okay, that's probably a sign that we should not go inside. I, I don't think I want to go inside. The English house. Ha, huh, no one's home. Ah! Ghost at the windows scaring me creeping me out and a hidden objects challenge which is even scarier <gasps> this hidden objects challenge gives us a shovel handle now obviously we're going to put the shovel blade and the shovel handle together to get a shovel now, come on come on come on put them together Woohoo! we got a shovel so let's check out that creepy, creepy statue. The creepy statue in the graveyard? This guy. Mr. Conant. He put his plaque in place. At your service, stranger. When did you come to Salem? 
I came to start a Puritan settlement away from the strict pilgrims of Plymouth. What was your occupation? At first, I managed a fishing trade. Later, I was charged with dividing tracts of land and settling land disputes. Do you know where Nathaniel Hawthorne's grave is located? I could show you if I had my shovel. Here's your shovel, sir. Okay, the grave is actually right there. Yeah, I was super close the whole time. I could have just pointed to you, but I wanted you to give me my shovel first. Haha, <laughs> shovels are awesome. 